How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. In commemoration of 40 years of tribal recognition here in the U.S. for the Pascuayaki Nation, dozens of runners from here in Tucson traveled over 400 miles south to their ancestral lands in Southern Sonora. It's a five-day trek north, ending today in Tucson with Pascuayaki tribe members from here in the Old Pueblo teaming up to pass the baton forward and running their way throughout the Sonoran Desert. I caught up with them near Imuris, Sonora, Mexico. With two runners at a time carrying traditional tribal staffs, these athletes continue to trek north through Sonora, Mexico as they head to the U.S. and eventually back home to the Pascuayaki Pueblo in Tucson. Um, I was just running just to stay in shape and as this came along I thought, you know what, this, this is happening for a reason. The reason for Tucson and Robert Valencia Jr. traces back centuries and centuries with some of the original inhabitants of current day northern Mexico and southern Arizona. Well, our ancestors uh, have made this trek um, multiple times, uh, often a lot. You know, they follow trade routes uh, way back when, and they also came up. Um, and we're very fortunate to do this. It's called Vatnatekai in Yoeme, or the native language of the Yaquis. And the historical run begins in South Sonora, in Vicam Sonora, near the uh, region of Ciudad Obregón, or the Rio Yaqui. And at one point, they'll make it to this region here along the border, Nogales, Sonora, Mexico, of course. On this side, it's the United States. And from here, still lots of running to go because from the border itself, they have to run more than 60 miles until they make it to the Tucson area and the Pasco Yaqui Pueblo, which is in the southwest side of town. Everyone here along with us is doing it from the heart, from our families, our grandparents that at one point were walking along these, these same paths. It's much like a passing of the baton in track, but in this case, it's the handing off of traditional staffs. River cane that was available that's, that we use prominently in our culture. So the staffs are made out of the river cane and they uh, adorned it with some significant items. Intervals of every working as a team. One team Getting proud. spanning two nations, including eight tribal pueblos over 400 miles for one proud Yaqui nation. Multiple generations and run. Hey, I was fortunate enough to be given a shirt commemorating this historic run when I caught up with them in Mexico. Of course, I had the easy part because I was driving while they were running. <laughs> That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Cala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Happy Tuesday to you.